Adding a visual cue once the dog knows the verbal cue. Start with a lot of short recalls using the verbal cue to get your dog doing the behavior. He should know how to come when called at least without distractions around at this point. Don't work on teaching your dog a visual cue until the dog knows the verbal cue. Next, introduce the new visual cue. Present the cue, wait a bit, then call the dog to you. He is starting to anticipate my verbal cue. This is what I want. Then he backslides and seems to wait for my verbal cue. That is okay. It is all part of the learning process. He is still unsure that he should move without my verbal cue. Twix is almost three and I have never put a visual cue to his recall. Finally, he does it without the verbal cue. I have a theory that if you have taught your dog to stay in one place until you release him, he will not know it is acceptable to move. Here is an idea and my thoughts on the issue. You can use it or not. It is up to you. I am thinking that I will use a hand signal as a visual release cue instead of a recall cue. The visual cue will mean move and come to me. I will teach the hand signal, then use the release cue. Until he anticipates the release cue and comes to me on the new visual release cue. I hope that makes sense. Since I just ran into this issue, it will take me a few days to get the video up for you all to see. Stay tuned, you will see it later in this class.